Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Obviously some big news. We've just done a live stream on the breaking news from Coventry City. So um, we'll dive straight into it. I was out and about at 7 o'clock. Cookies messaging me saying, have you seen the news? And I'm like, what is it? I head over to the Twitter page and I get hit with this. And <laughs> goodness me, I dived straight into it and had to find out as much as possible. Quick little background, obviously, for those of you guys that aren't Coventry City fans or do not know all the ins and outs. Um, this is absolutely massive. I know... Many clubs see owners come and go, but for Coventry City, we've been calling out for owners for so, so long. Um, the problems at Coventry City stem back a long way. Like I say, we're a, we're a proud club, we're a historic club, we're a well-supported club. We spent 34 years in the top flight from 1967 to 2001, even winning the FA Cup, you know, big club. And it all went wrong moving from Highfield Road, in my opinion, moving from a stadium we owned to the Rico. Now, the Rico, obviously, which is now the CBS, wasn't a bad project, but moving to it with uh, not being able to own it was a bad idea. And obviously, that's led to so many issues. Um, so, like I say, the problems initially started without CSU's management. But as far as I'm concerned, since they've come in, it's not really got a lot better. You can... Guys are in, you guys are entitled to your own opinion on Sisu. You know, you can like them, you can hate them. Um, I have mixed feelings on them. Not everything they've done I've liked. Not everything they've done I've hated. Um, but obviously we've moved to Northampton. We've moved to Birmingham. And we've now come back to Coventry. And this looks very exciting because... Sisu Capital Limited, the owners of Coventry City Football Club, have agreed, subject to EFL approval, that is a very key point there, to sell a majority stake in the football club to local businessman Doug King, uh, who will take an 85% share. Not the whole shebang, but a, a massive majority of it. Um, the deal will involve clearing all of the club's debts. Now, I don't know the exact figures, but Coventry City do have big debts, so this guy has money. And if he's going to chuck it about, this could be massive for Coventry City. Um, the club has also announced it will be making an equity bid to acquire the CBS Arena. Oh, the, uh, the following the administration of Wasps Rugby Club, the structure of the stadium bid will ensure Coventry City FC remains initially debt-free and provide a new start for the club under fresh ownership. If the bid is successful, it would ensure the Sky Blues remain able to play home games in the city and is the only bid which can make this long-term guarantee. Now, obviously, we've seen things before, how they fall through, but this is the best-looking thing I've seen. Um, in terms of potential for Coventry City to obviously get new owners in a long time. I know there's been interest in the club and CISO at times have, you know, wavered on things. But this is almost a done thing. I won't say it is because it isn't, but it, it, it almost is. Um, so very exciting. Like I say, guys, I know probably as much as you guys, unless you're very oblivious to what's happened. It only broke an hour and a half ago at the time of recording this. But this is absolutely massive for Coventry City. Um a point I was making during the live stream today was Coventry City in the last five years have actually started to trend back up on the pitch. And I've been saying how even though we won the checker trade, we won League Two playoffs, we won League One as the title winners. I've always had in the back of my mind that that worry that things look good on the pitch but off the pitch can overshadow things. And um, I've always felt in the last five years that Mark Robbins and Aidy Vivash are holding things up together. And if one, of, one or two of them were to go, then it all comes crashing down. But stability off the pitch is such a good feeling. And it feels like Coventry City could have that here. Um, let's have a little look and find out a bit more about Doug King. Um, Doug King, CEO of Stratford-upon-Avon-based Yellow Enterprises, I think I'm saying that right, recently invested over £70 million in the region through the construction of a state-of-the-art oil seed processing facility to generate renewable energy. Doug also co-founded and majority owns RCMA Capital LLP, which oversees investments of over $400 million. Um, obviously, Joyce Apala has come out there and said um, this is fantastic for Coventry City and the city itself. I know that Doug is a, a lifelong an admirer of Coventry um, and will be a powerful steward of the club moving forwards. Um, well, obviously, we'll click. We'll quickly cl click over to the um, on the pitch situation. Obviously, that's where a lot of Coventry City fans have been excited recently. You know, a sudden burst up the league. Look at that form. Um, but I tell you what, I'm, I'm not saying that this is the choice we have here. But I would take not getting promoted or the playoffs if it guarantees um, this off the off the pitch. And um, like I say, Doug King doing a little background check. It looks like he actually has money to offer. Um, so like I say, you know, we, we said in the live stream today how just because you've got a new owner doesn't mean he's suddenly going to come in and January transfer window, we're going to go 
guns blazing. It might be a slow building process, but if this guy is serious, you know, and I feel like if you're going to come in for a club like Coventry City, you've got to have ambition. You can't come in and try and run it in the same way Sisu did. Otherwise, you might as well have just let them have it. Um, it looks as though things actually could be looking very much up for Coventry City. And we've said the potential at this club is massive. Um, I'm not just saying that because I'm a Coventry City fan, but um, I feel like lots of other fans recognise how well-supported Coventry City are and how big it is to the community. That is such a big point there, you know. The, the, I feel like there's a buzz in the city every Saturday night after we've won, you know, and some cities don't have that. We're a one club city and I I was one of the season ticket holders when we went to Northampton and people have their own opinions on that. Obviously, some people um angry at the, thing, the people that went, some people are angry at the people that didn't go. Um, I'm very, you know, neutral on that kind of stuff, but... I remember that and I was about 15 years old and we were getting crowds of just under 2,000 and I was thinking, this club, it feels like it's dying. You know, it's it's at such a low ebb. 2,000 fans making the journey to Northampton. I was thinking, is this what our club's become? You know, I, I grew up with tales from my mum and uncle about Coventry City having glory days in the 60s under Jimmy Hill and the cup triumph in the 80s and then in my lifetime initially it was all downhill but like I say on the pitch it's been very good in the last five years and off the pitch things could go to a whole new level here um, so do get your thoughts down in the comments guys obviously do interact do make sure to like and subscribe but like I say it's, it's massive it's breaking all over the um, tabloids I'm looking at BBC and Sky now breaking and giving their opinions and I'm just a Coventry City fan same as you um, if you're a Coventry fan you might not be watching but um yeah, like I say, you know, this is absolutely fantastic for Coventry and, and the city as a whole because, like I say, you cannot underestimate the value of a football club to its community and Coventry City has so much potential. You talk about Coventry, it's got a population of over 300,000 and not only that, but we've got supporters, some worldwide, but even just in North and South Warwickshire, you know, Coventry City are very well supported and, you know, we're getting fifth or sixth average highest attendance in the uh, in the championship that is the potential Coventry City have you know getting 20,000 in the championship is absolutely fantastic and it could be even higher with this as well there's I, I've, I've heard so many fans on the radio saying how they won't go to any home games or anything just because they won't give Sisu a penny um, obviously it looks as if Sisu will still be attached here but 85% will belong to Doug King and um, subject to EFL approval. This looks absolutely fantastic. So get your thoughts in. Um, thank you for watching till the end, guys. Do make sure to like and subscribe. We'll obviously do more updates if necessary over the next couple of days, but um, it looks very, very promising. Um, I'm a very happy Sky Blue fan right now. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.